Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Al Bronin here again, and today I'll be going over Muscular in One's Justice 2 Remix Edition. And just as you may have suspected, like every other character, Muscular is far more enjoyable in this version of the game than the vanilla version. So, what makes him different? Basically, now he can actually do combos and get damage. And it's not even just the brain dead, like, um, like yellow attack loops that he used to have, he doesn't have those still, but now he actually has proper combos, so it's, you know, kind of hard to execute, but he actually has something to do when he hits the opponent. He actually has damage, he actually has stuff to do. <laughs> He's a worthwhile character now. So, what's different? Um, a few small changes. There's not nothing like huge and different about him, except for maybe his red attack, because he can actually just combo off of that now. That's probably the biggest change. But a lot of the changes are small things that just allow him to combo a bit better. So, for example, off of his quirk 2, he can now actually cancel that into his quirk 1. So now, if you want to do a combo, you can do something like this. Oh, and also, when you do the quirk 1 in the air, you can, just like before, you can, you know, combo into his regular attack string. And the final change is his yellow attack in the air actually bounces the opponent. So, all of those, like, little changes grouped together leads to combos that look like this. Not like that. Oh, wait. I messed that up. Sorry. One more try. And then into that, and then to his two quirk two, and then finish with a quirk two. And uh, yeah, so that long combo can be pretty hard to execute, because you have to know which move goes where, and if you do it slightly wrong, you'll end the combo way early. Some of the timing's slightly tricky, but you know, that's really big damage. But I feel like it's, like, it matches, like a character like Muscular, you would imagine has big damage. Like, he's a big guy, he's about having, like, having muscles, like, why wouldn't he do big damage? It just makes sense for his character, he's about, you know... <laughs> yeah, what did I say? His quirk is literally him growing muscles. Obviously, he's gonna do big damage. So yeah, this is a bread and butter combo that I found pretty easily. There might be something better, but I'm pretty sure this is probably about the highest damage you can get. Because it uses all of his moves sequentially and as many as you can in the combo. And it's pretty big damage. For zero dash cancels, by the way, it is a meteor blow, but it's still a lot of damage. And just like before, obviously, he can still do, you know, choose to go for the wall spot if he wants to, to get some damage that way. And then, you know, he can add in a red attack. And then, yeah. That honestly might make the combos a little bit more difficult, because you'll have to worry about when it's going to Meteor Blow. But for now, yeah, 10,800 damage, really good. So, um, I'll just quickly say show what I did in the combo. So I just do two hits into the Tilt Attack, into the Tilt Quark 2. Tilt Quark 2. Quark 2. Quark 1. Attack. Tilt attack, tilt quirk 2, tilt quirk 1, tilt quirk 2, quirk 2, quirk 2. Ooh, that is a mouthful, but that is an awesome combo. Now, if you do happen to have, like, dropped the combo, which is something that might happen, or if the opponent maybe breaks the combo partway through, you're actually going to have your arm charged up, and you may think that, like, may kind of ruin your combo, because you can't really do the same things when you have the semi-charged state. Because, see, when I do my quirk 2 into quirk 1, that actually doesn't work anymore, so it kind of limits his combo parts, you would expect. But, he can actually do his Tilt Quirk 1 after his Tilt Quirk 2, and then he can do stuff like this. So it just adds a little bit extra damage into the combo, and see, I just added that there. And then into the Quirk 2s, and now you added an extra 1000 damage, and now he's getting 11,800 damage. Which is kind of on the ridiculous side of meterless damage, even for Remix Edition. That, or, mm, maybe in Remix it's like slightly above average, but that's really good damage compared to what he gets in the regular version of the game. 10, 000, 8, uh, 11,800 for zero dash cancels? That's amazing. And it's not just him going like attack, attack, tilt attack, 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 tilt attack. It's not dumb stuff like that. Like he actually has to, you know, think about what moves he's doing when and how he can actually get his combos effectively. It's really fun to do these combos, and just as you would expect, there are places where he can extend with supports. So if I want to do something like this, maybe I can extend with All Might. Um, um, after this, here. Like, it's going to be a little bit hard. Here, wait, maybe if I do my Tilt Quark 2 there, that might help. Uh, hello? My controller disconnected. Hello, hello. There we go. So if I do something like this. 
And then do this again. Quick work one, to work two. All might. There we go. Oh, see, that didn't even add that much more. Oh, but that was 11,500 without having any charged up muscles. So that's honestly pretty good. It adds a little bit of extra damage. But like, honestly, there isn't really even a point of doing that. Like, if you're going to get 11,800 damage or 10,800 damage with zero dash cancels, there's no point like spending a support or something to make it a tiny bit extra. So yeah, honestly, I would just say like you should use get some supports that really help you in the neutral. Like maybe they help you get in for combos because, you know, Muscular doesn't have any projectiles. He's a really slow run or like a short run. So, you know, get some characters with projectiles, maybe 100% deco or something or characters that will help you get in and stuff and just use them as that and as combo breakers. And then he's going to be a really solid character because like when he gets in, he's going to hurt. So you don't need com like you don't need supports to make him hurt anymore. <laughs> Like, gee, <laughs> that was just a tiny bit extra damage from the Endeavor support, and as you can see, that was even more ridiculous damage. So, uh, yeah, where do we go from there? And obviously, you can get a bit more damage if you do the red attack at the start. It might be to blow early, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, oh, I didn't even talk about it. So if you have the two arms up, obviously you have even different combos, because now the stuff that you would have done before won't work, because you don't have a tilt quirk one that isn't this, like, end combo ender. So now when you're in this version, you're more of like, just go for like big chunks of damage. So you can do something like this. If you want to cash out, you can get 12,700 damage. Completely super easy, guaranteed combo. Like, it, yeah, there's like no way to mess that up. So super big damage that way. And if you want to go, you could probably get a wall splat. And then do it later on in the combo. So yeah, once you see you've got them in the wall, go for something like this. And <laughs> you're getting 15,200 damage just because you saw they landed in the wall. So you just cash out your muscles, but that is a lot of damage. Like, that's a plus ultra combo for most characters. But for muscular, you don't even need a dash cancel. So that is pretty crazy. And depending on where you are, if you're facing a wall sometimes, you can actually get the um, quirk one after his the two hits of his quirk 2. Um, so, let's see, if I do something like this... Like, that can work sometimes, so you're getting even, like, a little bit extra damage. So 13,300 rather than 12,000 and a bit we got before. So yeah, when he's in double muscle mode, he's not about long flashy combos anymore, he's just about getting big chunks of damage. And just as always, his, um, double charged up arms quirk 1 is always very good for just cashing out on huge damage even before your opponent can break away so you can do like a single hit into it and you're going to get a big chunk of damage and it's really good because you know then you can get big chunks of damage before your opponent can even use their supports to break away from your damage so that's very handy and uh yeah so he's already getting huge damage but uh let's get into what plus ultras look like with muscular so you don't even really need to do much of a combo into them because you can't do the yellow attack doesn't even work so if you just do two hits into the plus ultra it may seem like not a lot, but trust me, this is going to be a lot. And especially since it charges up his arms automatically, it gets ridiculous. Like, what? 20,700 for a single plus ultra, zero dash cancels. What? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Like, if I was had my um like arms charged up already, it would be even more damage. If I do something like this, and I go... Over here, and I'm going one. Oh, excuse me, why'd you turn around like that? Here, let me do my plus ultra from over here, just to show you. Why does he keep turning around? And yeah, this plus ultra launches the opponent really far. So, like, even when you're like completely across the screen, Bakugo just goes flying for ages until he reaches a wall. So, you're guaranteed to get a wall splat, basically. <laughs> And there we go, 22,200 damage for a single plus ultra. No dash cancels, no nothing. Just a plus ultra into a wall splat, and you're getting that much damage. Pretty ridiculous. And that's just guaranteed off of, like, anything. So, uh, yeah. That's, like... <laughs> that's basically all I have to really talk about with, like, muscular. He gets huge damage, horrifying damage, if he has plus ultra. And it works really well, especially since, you know, in his regular combos... He's not doing many dash, well, he's not doing any dash cancels, so he's saving up his meter for when he wants to cash out for a plus ultra combo, 
and so it can be absolutely devastating, and it is really devastating. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically Muscular. He does huge damage. Um, he actually has kind of interesting combos now, like he can combo into routes off of the usually could that he couldn't have gotten damage off, like off of the air. He used to not really be able to get anything, but now he can like get stuff like this. Like, he can actually get chunks of damage. Like, I can't even end that there because I've already done my quirk to in the air, but if I did a dash cancel or used an All Might or something... But even then, 9,500 damage for an unfinished combo is a lot more than he used to be able to get from the air in the regular version of the game. Like, he used to just get, like, 2,000 for, like, hitting the opponent and then doing this. Like, he's such an awesome version of the character, and, like, because he can, like, charge things... Like, he can even just do this. Like, after he does the quirk 2 string, he can charge up his muscles so that he can go for the massive, you know, cash-out damage version. So they can get these... It's just ridiculous. And then, yeah, as we showed before, the plus ultra damage is absolutely ridiculous. He's just a crazy character now. He does a ton of damage, and but to be honest, it fits him. He's muscular. He has, like, ginormous muscles as his quirk. Obviously, he's going to have big, beefy damage. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next one. Bye!